Hey, Ken here with eXp Realty, and in today's video, we're going to talk about fixtures. What can I take with me, and what do I have to leave when I sell a house? And we're going to answer that question right now. Hey, Ken here with eXp Realty. I'm a realtor in the Lehigh Valley, and today we're going to talk about fixtures. What stays and what doesn't when you sell a house. So let's start with um, the definition of a fixture. Anything of value that is permanently attached to or part of the property. Examples of a fixture are installed lighting, window coverings, built-in appliances, and so on. Fixtures are often subject to buyer and seller disputes. In the agreement of sale, make sure inclusions and exclusions are clearly defined. Because fixtures are often the area of dispute between buyers and sellers, that's why we're gonna talk about them today. Let's say that you have a chandelier that you absolutely love. Your great aunt gave it to you and you wanna take it with you. It has sentimental value. You need to change that out before you start showing the house. The rule is the buyer expects to get the house with the fixtures that are there the last time they saw it. So if someone was there and you had the chandelier in and they made an offer on the house, you went under agreement and then you changed the chandelier out even though you put another light there, you were in violation of the agreement of sale and they could make you put the other one back. So if you have a ceiling fan or a light fixture that you absolutely love and you must take with you, swap it out before you start showing the house. Let's talk about kitchens, kitchen appliances. In the agreement of sale, the stove and the built-in microwave and the dishwasher are included. Those are inclusions. Those are hard written into the agreement of sale and they're in every single one of them on the Pennsylvania Pennsylvania Association Pennsylvania Associated Realtors agreement of sale. Refrigerator is not. A refrigerator is not a fixture and it is not included automatically. You must write it in. When I do an agreement of sale for my buyers, I always write it in. You know, most sellers don't know the difference or don't know that a refrigerator is not included, and most people assume that it is, but assumptions, you know what they do. Refrigerator is not included. A garage refrigerator, definitely not included. So if you want, uh, if you're the buyer and you wanna make sure that you get the refrigerators in the kitchen, you must write it into the agreement of sale in the inclusions area. Um, freezers. Let's talk about freezers in the basement. This is really this is always an area of contention. If you want the freezer, if you're the buyer and you want the freezer in the basement, make sure that you add it, write it in as an inclusion. If you're a seller and you do not want to move that chest freezer out of the basement, you must make sure that it is written in as an inclusion on the agreement of sale because even though you say, you know what, they'll we'll leave it here and they'll like it, the buyer could come in and do the walkthrough and go, hey, we don't want that freezer, get it out of here. And then you have to move it. Real important, like, like a piano in the basement, you don't wanna move it. Something that you don't want to move, as long as it's working, you know, don't leave junk in the basement, as long as it's working, write it in as an inclusion to make sure that it stays with the house and be clear up front with what's included, what's not. Washer and dryer, not a fixture, not a fixture. You must ask for them, even though they're appliances, you must ask for them as an inclusion in the agreement of sale. Let's talk about window coverings, blinds, mini blinds and roll down shades. Do we still have those? Roll down shades, yes. Blinds and shades are included. They are hard written into the agreement of sale. They are an inclusion. Window coverings are not. I always say that if we have a house has like a beautiful big window and it's got this gorgeous window covering, we want to ask for that. Seller may or may not include it. They may want to sell it to us. Um, generally though, if it's on an odd shaped window, seller will leave it 
because what are they going to do with it otherwise? But you must include it on the agreement of sale. Here's my, here's my rule of thumb. If it's not in writing, it didn't happen. So get it in the agreement of sale. If you want to stop any of the confusion or any of the arguments that happen when you buy and sell a house, when I thought that was included, no, I didn't say that was included, da, 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 and it happens a lot. Get it in writing, put it on the agreement of sale. No matter where else it's written, it could be in the in the MLS that this is included. It could be in a seller's disclosure that it's assumed that this is included. If it's not on the agreement of sale, it may not be included. The agreement of sale document trumps all documents. So, in a nutshell, if it's attached and it leaves a hole or damage when it's removed, much like a stove would or a built-in microwave or a built-in bookshelf. It's a fixture and it's included. <clears throat> if it can be removed and does not leave damage or a hole in the wall or something that must be repaired, it is not included. It's not a fixture and it must be written on the agreement of sale as an inclusion. And if you're a seller and you're definitely taking the garage refrigerator with you that has the kegerator in it, it must be written on the agreement of sale as an exclusion to make sure that you don't have a dispute over that at the end of the deal. We like to get to the closing table where everybody's happy. And the best way to do that is have all the understanding up front. So I hope this helps. And if you've got value out of this, remember, like and subscribe this video we put new videos up here every thursday and just bringing value to you and share it with your friends we're glad that you're here ken Merrillick, home partners group brokered by exp realty we're opening doors for you